Well, Dana, we're not even in the thick of this storm right now. The causeway already a trouble spot for us. I'm not standing on the bay. That behind me right there is a flooded parking lot. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at that right now. That is the Ralph and Kekus parking lot along the causeway over here. Going to zoom in. Look at that. That is just completely flooded. It was even difficult for me to find a parking spot over here. Now, Baldwin County Emergency Management officials are actually more concerned about the causeway than they are in general because the brunt of the storm is going to be hitting during high tide tomorrow and the wind will be coming from the south. Now, speaking of the south, down at the beaches, we've got double red flag conditions down there. Waves breaking at four to six feet, which is already unusual for this time of year. Tomorrow, during those storm surges, though, that's expected to hit eight to ten feet. So, double red flag conditions are going to continue throughout the weekend. Back up north here, I know it's not raining right now, but it was raining when we were driving on the Bayway earlier. We took some video for you, of course, from a mounted cell phone, giving you a look at what those conditions can look like out there when you're driving quickly and the rain's coming down. Pretty difficult to see out there. Now, ahead of tomorrow's storms, there have been several cancellations. We've been telling you guys about this. The big one over here in Baldwin County, the ALDOT DMV service, Saturday service, was supposed to begin tomorrow at the Fairhope and Foley offices. That's no longer the case. So if you're planning on doing that, just a big reminder for you guys that Saturday service at the DMV will not begin tomorrow. So the big things we need to worry about over here, flooding on the causeway, be careful driving on I-10, and watch out for those damaging winds. That's it for Baldwin County, though. So now we're going to take our coverage east to News 5's Cody Log, who's standing by in Northwest Florida. Cody.